Today we're here with the Highlanders whose human player said, quote, no guarantee they're all wearing shorts underneath their kilts. Tell us, how have you done up till this point? Uh, we've been doing pretty good. We have some losses, some wins, but we're just staying strong, double checking things, trying to remain consistent. Um, in addition to that, uh, we're eighth place right now, so looking pretty optimistic. We're excited to keep playing and just doing our best. How have you done in the regionals leading up to Houston? So we were lucky enough to win all three regionals that we've been in. We went to Utah, Colorado, and Alabama. Uh, at Utah, we were captains of our alliance uh, with some other teams. It was really exciting, really fun. Colorado and uh, Alabama, we had uh, we were first pick for both of them, and we had a lot of fun. Um, the last final round for Alabama was definitely a nail biter. Um, it was really close, and things didn't go quite to plan, but tur things turned out good. So we're happy with that. Now, your guys' regionals are all over the country. Where are you based out of originally? So we're based out of Fort Collins, Colorado, kind of that northern area. We're a community-based team, so we cover six schools, four towns, and two countries. So it's a fun team dynamic, and we're all pretty much family. Talking about community, how do you do outreach to the community? So outreach wise, we really focus on international outreach, trying to go out to different places, especially where we have connections. Because here in the U.S., we have a lot of great like STEM programs out in addition to first. But as for going internationally, we've gone to Peru, France, India, and Jordan. This year, we had a student who unfortunately had to move to Jordan um, for the season because his family had to move out. So with that, we saw it as an opportunity. We held eight STEM camps with our STEM kids and impacted uh, hundreds of students there, so that was very exciting to go over and see that environment as well. If your robot broke down midfield, how do you think that would affect LeBron's career? Um, not quite sure what you mean by that. Me Listen. neither, half the time. Now, <laughs> finally, do you think you're going to win any awards today um, or tomorrow? We'll see. Um, we talked to some judges. They were nice. We had some fun. Got some callbacks, but I mean, it's world, so we're just happy to be here in general, so see what happens. All right, good luck out there. Thanks, you too.